Right, so Dyesh is going to go through the exact same setup again. He's got his hand position sorted, so he's going to take his head underneath, centralised. Semi, like a tiny, tiny squat out the foot like a cage. Take his couple of walk steps back so he's set. And then from here, he's just going to pull the bar down into his back, squeeze in lats, take a massive inhale, put in his belly with air so he's nice and braced. Think about pressing big toe, little toe, and here all into the floor before he starts descending in that squat. And then coming back up. His range of motion is determined by his ankle, knee, and hip range. It's not going to be some arbitrary figure that we're going to make up. For everyone, it's going to be a little bit different. For Dai, he's got really mobile hips, ankles, and um, a very long back. <laughs> So you actually can get quite deep in that squat. But it really depends on your personal mobility. What we don't want to see is this happen at the bottom. So we want to go as deep as we can whilst maintaining excellent position throughout. Because essentially, if we do let that lower back round at the bottom, we're gaining range in a place we're not trying to, um, to, to have range in a, in a squat. We want to have a nice isometric contraction from the hip all the way to the neck. The only muscles that, the only joints that are moving, ankles, knees, hips. Everything else is maintaining a real nice solid position. Nice work, mate.